elegant. Man, I have so many phobias. I have a foot phobia, I hate feet. I hate feet. And then mum always knew that I hated feet. She used to always like try and stick them in my face and stuff. So like, you now I just ended up hating feet even more. Favorite tongue twister. <laughs> Favorite tongue twister. She sells salty sausages and schnitzels by the seashore of Seychelles. That's one me and my brother came up with. Biggest fear when I'm on stage, voice breaks. If you get something that's really challenging and like even having lots of vocal lessons, it's always the fear is just having like this big moment when you're just like, ah! Shouldn't be having voice breaks by this age. Personally, like vocally and everything, I was always a massive Matt Colby fan growing up. And then my dad always played the old rock music, so I really like that sort of stuff as well, the old Aussie rock, like uh, Diesel, I love Diesel. And now I just like broaden it out, I just love everything. I want to be content with my music in, in who I am as an artist. I'm trying to pursue a career, so I just kind of want to do the original music as much as I can. And I want to be able to make people feel something from it. It's the personal connections that you can make with people with music that I really love. I just love that kind of reinforcement that people give back to you when you, when you give to them through music. It's such a loving industry in that way. In the next five years, I just hope to be really content with myself, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. I really just hope that I'm happy with where I'm at and I'm happy with what I've achieved and I haven't got a clear vision of where I'm going to be but I know what I want to be.